right, what's going on everybody? So today, um, I'm gonna be working on a boat. And um, gotta pick up some things, gotta go to Napa. Gonna be doing everything from washing it up real good because right now, you know, it's right before April and uh, people wanna get ready to go out on the water, which is kinda cool, you know, it's that time of year. But it's beautiful today. When I say beautiful, I mean it's gorgeous. There's not a cloud in the sky. And we're gonna pick up some soap. This will work. Okay, everybody. So, made it out here. It's absolutely beautiful. There's so far out in the country right now that what you just heard is a crop duster. So that'll put it into perspective of where I'm at today. And you can see the cows and everything else. I mean, it is just beautiful out here. Got some horses, beautiful, beautiful horses. But this is the boat. I'm looking for the crop duster. I'm, I'm waiting to see it, guys. I'm waiting to see it. Okay, so anyway, this is the boat. It's a pretty good size fountain. It's called a fountain, okay? And um, I'm gonna let y'all see the before on it, before getting deep into this thing, which it needs some serious love. It needs some love. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be great. It's gonna turn out good, okay? So, <laughs> seen worse boats? Absolutely, absolutely. But is this one great? Absolutely not, it is not. So. Looking at this thing, nah, it is kind of bad. So, I'm gonna be getting on the inside of this thing, looking around, let y'all see that. Okay, and there's two little dogs over here, two puppies. Two little puppies. And I'm gonna be coming around. Let's see if I can show y'all up above this thing. So, I hope that kind of gives you an idea and um, some perspective of where we are today. Just got finished washing the hull of the boat and as you can see looks great so far but it needs to be buffed and waxed but let me show you this other side over here that's it when it's dry it is clean that water line is off of here which is great it's fantastic so now the next step is going to be getting inside the boat to clean the inside after that's done then be doing some buffing <sighs> you can see it's kind of rough kind of dirty kind of rough it looks yellow but it's not yellow it's actually supposed to be white you can kind of tell you know by looking at my shoes even though they're dirty they're black but you could just see this thing is just really 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 dirty all right check this out see that if you could tell the difference in between the side of the boat to inside the boat you could really really have an appreciation of how dirty this thing really is so what i'm gonna do I need to figure out a way to put this camera up so that way y'all can actually see what I'm doing. And um, let's just take a look here. I don't think that opens. This one does. 
can see how bad it is. It's not too, too bad. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, so the idea with doing any of these boats like this, got to work from the front, from the bow, back to the stern. And the uh, main reason main reason is because all of it's equally dirty but the reason being is because the water drains from the front and it slopes down to the back so that's the only reason why so what I'm about to do flip this over okay alright so what I'm about to do is set this camera up okay so it is nighttime. fast forward just a little bit started buffing on this boat and uh <clears throat> Uh, 8 o'clock it's beautiful outside right now as far as the temperature the temperature is great so looking at this boat so oh yeah it should show up so this part has not been done that down there all has quite a bit but everybody so got done working for tonight did this entire side of this boat 40 feet and uh gotta get ready to come back tomorrow today is day two and uh headed out right now um on the road um still another beautiful day so this is what the boat looks like after from yesterday and uh looks 100 percent better than what it did and um gonna be going around to this other side and um, hooking it up but you can just see it's just splotchy it's dried out it needs some love so gonna be getting on this and um, again it's beautiful today and uh, I'm gonna set the camera up I'm gonna walk you over got some oxidation on the engine cowlings need to work on on the back of the boat already did the inside been working all day did the other side but you can see the color difference as i'm walking up between the top of this and the bottom and i'm going to try to bring this back the boat is old it's used a lot but i'm going to try to see what i can do and um try to work some magic <clears throat> all right so came back kind of surprised this isn't typical you know i wasn't really sure if this would come back it did i'm happy let's move on to the next one as you can see all of them look equally like crap so gotta see what we could do so allergies are kicking my butt um but gonna continue rocking and rolling let's go All right, everybody, so it's been a long couple of days on this 43-foot boat. Um, 38, well, no, it's 40 foot plus another couple feet, give or take, with the engines. But anyway, I'm inside the boat right now, which you can see completely detailed on the inside. And uh, it is an old boat. Even though it's a huge boat, technically it would be considered a yacht if it had living quarters, which it doesn't. But this is a huge boat. You figure 40 foot, yeah, it's a yacht um by anybody else's standards but yeah polished all this buffed that cleaned up the floors you know cleaned out uh individual compartments washed it all down buffed and polished all this you can see that reflection and the shine on the side and also on the front right here brought it back uh also did up top you know on top of that got that ladder and put it right here and got up here is and uh, then coming over here, 
did all this up here and then coming all the way to the back um, see if you can see that shine on there. I don't know if it'll pick up or not but it goes over there and uh, for it to be so many hours of work to be able to do this quick of an overview of what was done is kind of crazy but this whole area here about the rub rails down and then I'm going to show you down on the bottom on the ground as far as around the boat this is the lower portions of it you can see that shine and the reflection on here I don't need to oversell it I don't need to over talk it but this is a lot of surface area a lot of square footage you figure five and a half foot by 40 foot you can figure out the square footage on this thing it's a lot and uh, multiply that times two so really five and a half foot times 80 foot is really how much surface area has been waxed just on the whole it's a lot just thinking about that that's a lot um so yeah but this entire section up here has been done the entire section here back here it's been waxed engines pretty much everything y'all so definitely appreciate it so let me get everything picked up let me go ahead and break down the scaffolding and stuff and then hit the road <laughs> 